Hello, I'm David Burns of Long Lane Honeybee Farms, and we're glad that you joined us for another great video. And today we're going to teach you and show you, let you follow us along as we do some queen rearing today. We're going to be grafting. It's a little bit uh, early here in Illinois to graft. Uh, today is March the 31st, last day of the month of March. And typically, we don't start grafting in Illinois until more into April. But this year, it seems like we've got an early start on things. So we're going to do a little grafting today. And I'm going to show you a technique that I'm using, kind of experimental this year, uh, just for an early type of uh, testing that we're going to do to see if we can raise queens early in the year, a little bit earlier. Because this is not how we do it year long after it warms up. I've kind of made a little special box for you to, uh, to see today that we can take a hive and raise some queens out of. I'm going to take you through the whole process today and you're going to learn how to graft. And if you don't think that you're uh, able to comprehend everything that I show you today, let me tell you that we do offer queen rearing classes um, here. We have one coming up, in fact, and it's coming up May the 14th and 15th here in central Illinois. It's a two-day course. We'll walk you through the whole, uh, as every aspect of raising queens. And uh, on the first day, on Friday, you get trained on grafting. You are taught all about queens and how to graft. And then you get to do a graft. Do some grafting on Friday. And you place those grafts in, your, uh, in some starter hives that we have around here. And then on Saturday, more hands-on experience. And get this, on Saturday, you get to drive off with the grafts that you did, take them home, and put them in a hive above a queen excluder, and you're raising your own queens. Now, that's pretty cool, isn't it? That's going to be coming up uh, uh, May the 14th and 15th here in central Illinois. So if you want to sign up for that class, go to honeybeesonline.com, and we'd love to have you join us. Now we're going to shift gears. I want you to follow me along as we uh, do some queen rearing today. Let's get started. set up to raise these early spring late winter queens in and as you can see I've kind of just modified it to uh, uh, make it where I can raise queens and yet uh, I can I don't really have to have a starter hive I don't have to have a finishing hive I've just got it all in one box so I can raise I want to try to raise maybe 10 or 12 queens in this box here and uh, and that way they can still stay warm because we're gonna have some cold spells in April. We're, we may even get below freezing. So I can't really have a really small group of bees raising a queen yet. That's how I normally do it. But um, like for example, I'll often raise queens and, and I'll have them in these little boxes that are, these are called the, uh, oh, a, 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 mini, a mini nook or it can be a small, uh, box that you raise queens in. They're in here as queen cells and they emerge and then they fly out and um, there's a little hole in the side and they fly out and mate and they come back. And so sometimes we use these little combs, uh, little frames, but normally we do it in a larger system. So I can't do that because bees at this time of the year will, will die on a cold night because there's not many bees in these boxes. So I've got to try a little different strategy now that it's still, we're having cold nights. So this is uh, a box that I've just designed the way I want it to run in order to raise these early queens. Okay, so what we have here in this box is just uh, real simple. We, we do make these and we make a much prettier version of it, but uh, these are the ones that I just make for myself out of some scrap uh, stuff that I have laying around. So these are simply some plywood lids and a top cover goes over top of all of it. And what I've designed in the middle is simply an insert where I can keep the uh, queen that I have in the hive now separated from the grafts that I'm going to put in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a hive that is actually a, a hive that's um, pretty strong right now. You know, it's, it's early in, uh, uh, in the spring yet, and so I need to make sure they stay warm. So I'm going to move a whole four or five, maybe ten frames over here haven't decided yet, 
I'm going to put in this section here the queen and some, and, the, and some of her bees and some of the brood. And then I'm going to put this separator. You can see it's a queen excluder that I've just tacked on uh, some wood to hold it on this uh, division board. And I'm going to put the queen excluder between the two sections of bees because I'm going to be moving grafts in here that I'm going to graft off of this side and I'm going to put them over here. So in here are going to be my grafts and the bees are going to be sprinkled out the queen on this side. She can't get through because she will want to probably destroy those queen cells as they get larger. So what we're going to do is go graft and then bring the grafts and put them here and then put all the bees from an existing colony back over here into this new colony and see how it goes. Now this section here, as you can see, I've stapled things together. They can make their way out of a small hole on this side and then the other side can make their way out through the front, through this side. So each, each uh, division of bees have their own uh, way to get in and out of the hive and they're divided. You can see how it looks in here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull a good frame out of an existing hive full of eggs and we're going to graft those and move them over, move all the bees back over as a way we can attempt a, a, a late winter, early spring way of raising queens. Let's get to it. Okay, so what we're going to do first is uh, open up the hive and we're going to take a look, see if we can find some good larva to graft out of the hive today. We're going to do a little smoking, get our smoker going and uh, it's a little cool today and it's a little bit windy. So we're going to smoke the bees a little bit more than we usually would because we've got to shake a lot of bees off of the frame that we find that we like. There'll be a frame in here that we like. We've been feeding the bees so that they can produce a lot more uh, world jelly and load up the cells good that, uh, of, the, of the brood that they're bringing up, the eggs. These are sugar patties that we place on the hive to kind of give them something to eat. We're going to set them off a little bit. We've got some pollen patties on there as well. So we smoke the bees. Looks like most of the bees are home today. And we've got to make sure that we don't uh, rough up the queen. So we're going to be a little careful on uh, making sure we're treating our queen nicely. Okay, so now I'm going to start pulling out some frames and taking a look at the uh, potential eggs and larvae that I want to graft out of the hive. There's my queen. She's right in the middle with a blue dot on her. See if I can get you an up close shot of that. As you can see, we placed the blue dot on the queen a few weeks ago. And blue is the color for this year's 2010 queen marking. 